Hello everyone, welcome to this video. We will be discussing and demonstrating. Hello everyone, welcome to this video. We will be demonstrating the Cholesky decomposition in finding the solution for linear systems of equations. So here we have this given matrix and we will be using the Cholesky the composition method to decompose this matrix and then we could later manipulate it and find the roots of the equations or sets of equation maybe solutions rather so let's start now with how we're going to decompose this matrix Looking at what I'm writing right now, this is a simplified method of the Cholesky where we're going to find the values A to F for the 3 by 3 matrix. What you could notice here is that top leftmost place is A squared and then A, B, A, B, A, D. Um, it is symmetrical, okay? So another requirement before we proceed on doing the Cholesky decomposition is that if the matrix we'll be working with is complying with the Hermitian transpond, which means that it must be symmetrical. Like this example, it is symmetrical. 1, negative 1, negative 1, 2, 2, 5, negative 4, negative 4, 6. Therefore, it passes and we could decompose this using the Cholesky. So how are we going to find the values A to F? It is simple. This is equivalent. Therefore, we need to find the values of A by manipulating this and deriving equations to get the value. Let's go first for the A. So the A is equal to A squared is equal to 1. Therefore, a square root of 1 is equal to 1. A square root of 1 is equal to 1. Therefore, we have a is equal to 1. It's easy, right? Then we're going for b. a b is equal to negative 1. See, negative 1 a b, negative 1 a b. So, if we know the value a is 1, then b is equal to negative 1, b is equal to negative 1 over 1, therefore b is equal to negative 1. Proceed to c. Um, before we go to c though, let's go for d. So, a d is equal to 2. C A D two. So D is equal to two over A and we know the value of A is equal to one. Therefore D is equal to two over one two. Let's proceed now for C. So B squared plus C squared is equal to five C. We know the value of b is negative 1, then we're going to manipulate this one. So c squared is equal to 5 over, uh, rather than, it is minus negative 1 squared. So we're going to square this to find the value of c. So c is equal to 1, 5 minus 1 squared of 4 is equal to 2. So C is equal to 2. We're going to find the value of E by using the BD plus CE is equal to 1. BD plus CE is negative 4. The same goes here. We know the value of B, D, and C. And so we're going to rearrange the equation. E is equal to negative 4 minus B d over c. We know the value of c is 2. We know the value of b is negative 1. 
and the value of E oh no the value of D is 2 rather and therefore negative 4 minus so if we multiply this we'll get negative 2 so this will be plus 2 over 2 negative 4 plus 2 is equal to negative 2 over 2 therefore E is equal to negative 1 we're going for the last one d squared plus e squared plus f squared is equal to what? 6 rearranging this we will be arriving to f is equal to square root of 6 minus d squared minus e squared we know the value of the d and e they are 2 and negative 1. 6 minus 4 is equal to what? 2. Minus 1 is equal to 1. We now have the square root of 1. As for f, but the square root of 1 is also 1. So we have now the values a, b, c, d, e, and f. We have this arrangement okay that the matrix L is equal to A B C D E F and the matrix L T is equal to A B C D E F we simply substitute these values into these two which is 1, negative 1, 1, c is equal to 2, d is equal to 2 also, e is equal to negative 1, and f is equal to 1. So, from this matrix, we have arrived to these matrices, which was decomposed through Cholesky, and we could now get the solution for linear systems of equation using these two matrices. But the important part here is that we now know how to decompose through Cholesky. And at this point, we have just solved it.